Moreno. My name is Shane Willis, I'm the designer of Garbage Day. I originally heard about the Secret Cabal. I was following on Twitter whenever I was first trying to get things uh, published with my game. And I was just like learning more about the media people in the industry. And I heard about this really awesome party that happened every year at Gen Con. This is my eighth Gen Con and this is my first time going to the Secret Cabal meetup. And I feel like for everything that I've seen and done, I've been missing out. It's just, it's this phenomenal party. It's really cool. I just seeing all these people together. And I started listening to the podcast probably about, uh, I would say eight, nine months ago. And it turned a monotonous drive into like, I could just space that out and take this podcast and basically make it from week to week with like all, all these like new inside jokes and like hearing about all the new games coming out. It's been really informative. It's actually been really enriching just to see like all these you know, 200 plus people at this party going nuts for something that I'm normally listening to by myself. It's just really cool to see the kind of community that they've built. Uh, my name's Greg Burhop. I'm the inventor of Knockdown Barns, AKA Burlap Sack. Burlap Sack! Burlap Sack! Burlap Sack! Burlap Sack! So far, this is my second Secret Cabal uh, Gen Con meetup. And I gotta tell you, it's the best event of the year. Uh, I am super happy about being able to uh, come to your guys' event and donate a couple of games because these are truthfully some of the best gamers I've met here at Gen Con. Everybody that's been here has been on point, learning the rules, getting the game down, and I will be back every year without fail. And uh, I actually heard about the Secret Cabal from Rodney on Watch and Play. So that was my original uh, Secret Cabal uh, sort of meetup. I, I, I had sent Rodney a game and through Rodney's channels he uh, he was the, how I found out about the podcast and I've been listening religiously ever since. Uh, my name is Aaron. I've been at Cabal's for about two years now. Uh, I feel kind of guilty saying it but uh, when I found the Secret Cabal it was when Tom was doing the contest where they were giving out the gift certificates for Cool Stuff Inc. for podcasts in the network. And I was like, I could listen to some of these other podcasts and win some of these. I didn't win, but I found some good podcasts. It was, this is the overflow here. We got, uh, these tables were not there until I think, I think, I think the manager might have shit a brick when he realized how many people were going to show up. I don't know how many times we told them there's going to be like 400 people here. I don't think they believed us. But then they put these tables out here. Thank God for this thing, this uh, mezzanine or whatever it's called. Oh, wait, we got to thank Don here. Don has been instrumental in the success of this meetup. He just called me a Thank token. you, Don. <laughs> <laughs> I did it in the nicest possible way. Uh, <laughs> you weren't supposed to. You weren't supposed to say that in front of the camera. I'm sort of uncomfortable with the way he's touching me. Nothing's really <laughs> well, thank All you, right. Tony Topper. Sir. I didn't know you. Were, I, th this makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> I thought we were. Does this make you uncomfortable? Or not? <laughs> So the way that I first came across the Secret Cabal, actually, was that one day um, I had a whole bunch of yard work to do. I uh, just had to spend the whole morning. So I was looking for a podcast uh, that would fill up the morning, something really long to listen to while I was doing yard work. And so I was skimming through the Dice Tower Network, and I came across the Secret Cabal and discovered, wow, I'm not going to find any podcasts that are longer than these. So I put those in my headphones, and uh, the rest is history.
What I like about the, the Secret Cabal is that it's just a bunch of friends sitting around just like me talking about games and the things that they like and they really, really just kind of inspired me to do that too. So with Blue Peg, Pink Peg, it is because of the Secret Cabal. So, you know, just thank you to them and I, I, I hope that you guys have years and years of just awesome podcasting. You know, I think the, the moment I kind of started watching The Secret Cabal, I loved their banter. Um, their, the fact that they're so genuine. They're a bunch of friends and they're real. You know, they bash on each other like real friends do. They love each other, they hate each other, they disagree with each other. And it felt like listening to me and my friends, you know? And so that's why I just love supporting the show, giving to the Cabals. The Cabals are the best. You can hear them in the background. You know, we just all love the founders, and it's so great, and thanks for keep doing, uh, doing what you're doing. That's kind of like awesome. It's kind of awesome that we come here to Gen Con and there's people we start to know and it's like, oh, I remember, that's the guy that I played this game with or the guy that I had this conversation with. So it's kind of cool that we we have the Kabbalist culture and we can all come here together and just hang out, have a good time, create more friends and just enlarge our world, like our own personal world. And it, I feel like, this meetup makes my world bigger, so I hope that it makes everyone else's world bigger. Yeah. 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 It was that point where I realized I had to 